Today I'm going to be doing a comparison and my thoughts on the differences between the 7D from Canon and the 5D Mark II. So I've had the 5D Mark II for about 6 or 7 months now and I actually used to have a 7D that I recently sold and I find myself buying another one. I just got this one today. So 5D Mark II was released, released in 2008. It's a 21 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor. You have a Digic 4 process, imaging processor. You have an ISO range from 100 to 6400. And you can actually, in expanded mode, go from ISO 50 to 25600. The 7D is a uh, APS-C format sensor. It's a 1.6 times crop. So it's 18 megapixels as compared to 21 on the 5D Mark II. But the difference is that any lens you put on there is going to be 1.6 times longer in focal length than it is going to be on the full frame. Which means if you put a 50 millimeter on the 7D, it's going to be a little bit closer to an 85 millimeter on the 5D. So 7D is a lot better if you're going to be shooting sports or subjects that are a lot further away. The 5D is easily the best portraiture camera that you can that I've ever used. Now the main differences are the Canon 7D besides the sensor is actually even though they consider it a prosumer camera and it's actually less expensive than the 5D Mark II, it's actually built quite a bit better. They're both made made out of magnesium alloy, but just the overall feel, the ergonomics, the build quality and the weather sealing is on par with the Canon's EOS 1N, it was a film camera, and it's almost, it's just below a 1 series camera, it's like a 1DX or a 1D Mark IV, so it's actually weather sealed very, very, very well, a lot better than the Canon 5D Mark II. I shot out in the rain with the 5D Mark II and really not had any problems, but I also haven't had it in as heavy of rain that I've had the 7D in. 7D I never worry about, this I'm a little skeptical sometimes, I try not to push it too far because it's my main camera and I don't want to risk it and I just haven't heard the greatest things about the weather ceiling. It's obviously there, but it's not quite as good as a 7D in any way. <clears throat> so the ISO performance, the difference between these cameras, the image quality that you get with a full frame sensor, just if you don't know what it means, if I do that too, 70. The 5D Mark II, if you look into the mirror, the opening is very large. It's the size of a 30, Super 35 millimeter film. For 7D, it's going to be quite a bit smaller. So it's, the 5D Mark II is about a little over twice as big as far as the size of the sensor. Most people say it doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but the, Im the kind of image quality you can get at the full frame is beyond anything I've ever tried yet. I had the 7D for a long time and the image quality was stunning. When I went to the 5D, the difference was incredible. Just the bigger pixels. So you have 18 megapixels cropped, crammed on a little tiny APS-C sensor. So the pixels themselves are going to be really small, which means they don't, they're not as sensitive to light, so the ISO performance is not going to be as good as the 5D Mark II. The 5D Mark II has a lot bigger pixels, so they're going to gather more light when you're pushing the ISO. And overall, the noise performance is really, really impressive on the 5D Mark II. And I will say this, as far as an everyday camera, I would definitely recommend anybody looking to buy one of these two. I would get the 7D. The 5D Mark II is a fantastic camera. The image quality is amazing. But the focusing system is what really is just the biggest downside. Like, it's got nine point autofocus system and the middle one is the across type. So a lot of times in low light situations I find myself focusing with the middle point and recomposing. Now the 7D has 19 autofocus points and every single one of those points is cross type. So almost any point that you select to focus on is gonna go get in focus. It's gonna catch focus really quickly. So it's much quicker. Also, Canon 5D Mark II has 3.9 frames per second and continuous drive for sports and whatnot. The 7D has 8 frames per second for sports. So, think about it. 
70 has got the 19 point autofocus system with all cross types. It's great for tracking moving subjects. The 5D Mark II, really, it doesn't have a lot of limitations as far as focusing as long as you're not trying to keep up with animals or, you know, athletes or anything like that. Besides that, this camera, get it. Don't even compare it to the 70. But the 70, the ISO performance that I've really tried it again since I've got it back today is really impressed me because I haven't really used a 70 in a while. I've been really impressed. I've never had any limitations. I am not afraid to push the 5D Mark II up to 12,800. It really squashes dynamic range, but I don't really push them that far when I'm shooting at that high ISO. The grain is apparent, but the amount of detail that it preserves is really what makes it so amazing. The 70, once you get up to about 1600 is where the fall off starts to happen. It still retains detail fairly well for being a crop sensor camera. I mean, I was doing tests today at 3200, 6400, and even 12800. Comparing them, it is about, you're looking at about a stop to a stop and a half better ISO performance in the 5D Mark II than in the 7D. So here's the 70 in a uh, in a high speed drive, so 8 frames per second. So it's a very, very quick camera. And keep in mind the 7D has twice the processors that the 5D Mark II has. The 5D Mark II is a single Digic 4 processor, the 70 is dual Digic 4 processors for high speed. So now if you're looking at the 5D Mark II, You're at 3.9 frames per second, so it's considerably slower. You just have to realize that you're not going to be shooting any sports with the 5D. I mean, I have before. I'm obviously not trying to track them too well. I maybe will get one out of four shots in focus with somebody moving. But again, that's not why I bought this camera. I bought this camera for the image quality. For portraits that are not going to be... Uh, people that are not going, to, not going to be moving in most cases. But the 70... Since I've gotten it back today, it is really, really amazing me once again. First of all, is just the build quality compared to the 5D Mark II. The 5D Mark II is built really well. still has the magnesium alloy, but just the, the ergonomics of the 7D. The way that it fits in your hand perfectly. And if you can reach every single button. You don't have to strain your fingers to get it. Everything just fits into place perfectly. And... For an everyday camera, there's really hardly any lim limitations. This camera is incredible. If you're looking for a great everyday camera but don't want to really spend the money on the 5D Mark II or the 5D Mark III for that matter, which is a different story, I will be eventually getting one, but I still don't feel at all limited by the 5D Mark II in any way other than sports, which is why I invested in this. I'll, I would wait until the price comes down because ISO performance is better, but not that much. But the 70 as far as every day you can shoot sports. Amazing 1080p, 1920 by 1080p HD video it is in insane. It is amazing video. The 5D Mark II is even better. The full frame sensor, better low light performance. You can shoot video usable probably up to about 4000 ISO. The 70 you're looking maybe Anywhere from 1600 to 2000, 2500 if you really want to push it. But both these cameras are phenomenal. I just want to give you my input on them. So if you're in a dilemma and you're not sure which one to buy, the 5D Mark II's price has fallen dramatically. It's gone from $2,200 to $1,799. In the 7D, I actually picked this up used off Craigslist. It's in mint condition. The guy, he used it, but he babied it. So he cleaned it a lot, you know. So it's just not a lot of wear at all. I haven't found any at all. I picked this up for about $870, body only. And they sell online, Amazon, or wherever you want to buy it from. They sell body only in a store for, you're looking at about $13.99. Anywhere from $11.99 to $13.99, depending on where you get it. And then $17.99 for the 5D Mark II. Is it worth it to go from 7D to 5D Mark II? 
if you don't need the autofocus and you do not need the speed of the 70, I would say go for it. But just know that you can't shoot in as in as extreme weather situations as the 70. The 70 is simply amazing as far as the weather ceiling and the overall ruggedness of the camera. You can feel it when you pick it up. It just feels right. It just feels really rugged. It feels like you can hammer nails in with this thing. It's ridiculous. Not to say that the 5D is not. The 5D is more than enough. You're not going to have any problems with it. But I would say go for it. The 5D Mark III, I would wait until the price comes down. This thing is still phenomenal. It's still... It's one of those cameras where I can keep using it. It doesn't matter how long I've had it. I can still take an image off of it and still be blown away by how clean it is at a high ISO. Or simply by just how sharp it is. The image quality you get off the full frame sensor is incredible. Alright. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Alright. Thanks.